the city of angels. Where everyone's an actor, it's hard to find the truth. Today, I gotta dish the dirt to a lovely damsel in distress. But first, I gotta solve the case of my missing hemorrhoid cream. My ass is killing me. I am Jack Quartz, TMI PI. Mr. Quartz, you have some information about my husband. Me? I was just a Seamus looking for a paycheck. Her? A sidewalk siren asking me to drop an A-bomb on her and giving me dough to do it. Yes, Mrs. Taylor, I'm sorry to inform you that he is indeed having an affair. That no-good rotten louse, I knew it! I spotted him outside of the Dorian Hotel last Saturday. That's my sister, Josephine. This puzzle kept adding pieces. Now to drop the real kicker. Well, they went inside and sealed the deal. Bastard. And for a solid 15 minutes, they did it up the butt. What? I timed it to be certain, ma'am. It was 15 minutes precisely. It starts here at 12.08. Going into the butt. Ah, uh, it's the butt stuff. Oh, Over goodness. I, I can't look at these. No, no, wait. There's more. This, uh, that's butt to butt. There's more butt to butt. This is uh, the uh, bed post balance beaming up the butt. Uh, she took a break from the butt stuff to choke him there a little bit. More butt stuff, butt stuff, butt stuff, ending at 12.23. See? 15 minutes. The disgusting details of it, Mr. Quartz, are not my concern. Poor dame. Just couldn't believe the news, but it was fit to print. Mrs. Taylor, you hired me to find out the truth about your husband in all of its graphic detail. There's only a certain degree of truth that I need to hear. Well... That leads me to my next bit of ham and eggs. A couple days later, I tailed your husband to a private club owned and operated by Frankie Fakebeard. The gangster? The very same, sugar doll. You know, word on the street is he's got a pretty weird marble bag. Marble bag, Mr. Quartz? Yes, his scrotum, ma'am. He's got a weird nutsack. Ugh. Whatever you want to call it, I had to find out for myself, so I snuck into the club to take some additional photos I got in here. You can really see how weird his nuts why, why, why would you do that? Well, to find out the truth, ma'am. Well, it appears that's all the information you have on my husband. Oh no, there's more. See, your husband, he made a small fortune inside Frankie's club that night. He's quite the skilled gambler. Well, that lutch is just full of surprises. Now the part of the job I hate, putting sour milk in her birthday soup. Another big surprise is that he spent most of his winnings that night on a high-priced prostitute known around town as Sanchina. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Sanchina is a ladyboy skilled in taboo sexual acts, hairless pile driving, reverse tugboating, Honduran meat wagoning. Is any of this sounding familiar, Mrs. No! A Honduran meat wagon is... Ah. Where you take a four-skinned penis like this, you stretch the skin back, you wrap it around maybe six or seven times, uh, thump it on the tip, uh, chastise it, make fun of it. Um, Mr. Quartz, I have heard and seen more than enough. This pretty bird was about to fly the coop. I had to take a shot in the dark. Mrs. Taylor, wait. Your husband, he must have hidden his gambling winnings someplace. With your help, I... Bet we could find them. Oh, do you? That moment I could see a new life for Mrs. Taylor. Funny part was, I was in it. No more gum chewing. We'd run off, get hitched, do the whole white picket fence thing together. She'd never judge me for my micro penis. She'd never say, Jack, you spend too much time at children's museums. In fact, in time, maybe we could ride the Honduran meat wagon together. Mr. Quartz! I'm leaving! Looks like for now, I'll have to remain Jack Quartz, TMI-PI.